Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a good look at the Shark Pro Carbide Tool Set from Nagu Tools. So off the back of some of the resin work that I've done in recent years, I was approached by Nagu Tools to have a look at their Shark Pro Carbide Tool Set. I was quite intrigued by these because they have a different type of tool that you don't normally see with carbide sets. So I said, yeah, I'd be interested in having a look. And they sent me this box to have a look at. So full disclosure, I haven't actually paid for these. These were given to me by Nagu Tools. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look, show you around, see what's inside, show you this different tool that, as I said, I haven't seen very often. And then we're gonna trial them out. And then at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think. Anyway, let's open them up and see what's inside. Well, first of all, I absolutely love the packaging. This kind of matte black box is uh, really quite, quite nice. It's quite different as well. So let's open it up. Okay, so a little sheet explaining a little bit about what's inside the box, but we don't need to worry about that. But as you can see, it's really well presented. We've got the main handle itself. And so this is an interchangeable system. This, I believe, is African blackwood handle, and these are handmade, apparently. The way that it works is you have a hole inside here, and you take one of the tools, so let's take this one, which is a, the round cutter, and then it has a collet system, so as you tighten it up, it locks it in place. And now you've got your solid tool. Let's take that one out again. So, as I said, we do have the round cutter. That's quite a large round. They do sell uh, replacement carbide cutters, but I see no reason why you couldn't use carbide cutters from elsewhere. I particularly like the negative rate ones that Easy Wood Tools do, so um, they could probably fit onto this. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure that they would fit. There's the square rougher, which again is the kind of a standard tool, and these are marked with the one, two, three, four, so that you can kind of know which, you know, as you turn it around, you know which side you've used. There's also a sharp parting tool or detailing tool, depending on how you want to describe it. And lastly, which is the one that I said you don't see very often, is a more kind of blunt sort of part, mm, diamond shape, I guess it is, with a point going off to one side. Now, hopefully you can see that, that nicely on the camera. Now, I'm not quite sure what I would use that for at the moment, but I like the option. It reminds me very much of when you're doing sort of metal work on an engineering lathe uh, and the angle that the cutters are on that. It reminds me very much of that. So it might be useful at kind of coming in at this direction rather than at this direction. Now, a quick look at the bars themselves. Now, obviously, they've got a rounded end and there is a flat on there, um, but it's a rounded end, obviously, to go into the collet. They have a flat bottom and then they have two 45 degree angles, which means you can rest it dead flat you can also rest it over at 45 degree and know it's gonna be stable. That'll be really handy for shear cutting and they're all exactly the same. Now they appear to be coated in a, in a kind of like a clear, clear lacquer maybe. The other thing that's in the box is two of these little Torx wrenches. There's a T25 and a T15. And I'm not quite sure what the two different sizes are for. If there's two, yeah, it looks like there's two different size of thread on the carbide tips, tips themselves. So that's it, as I said, it's really nicely presented and I do like the fact that you can just kind of lock, put it all into this one box, put the lid on, take it with you. There is a foam pad on the inside of the lid as well, so nothing's gonna jump around or come out and it's all gonna be held nicely and secure. Looking at it, it does actually say the blades are coated with corrosion inhibitor before shipping, remove the plastic film with a degreaser when not in, when ready for use. So it's not a lacquer, it's actually just a corrosion preventative film. So I will need to, in fact, it's, it's peeling off really, really easily. Um, but I'll need to clear that off before I give them a try. So that's the tools. There's not really much more to say about them. What I really wanna do now is to try them out. I say I'm particularly interested in this ability to kind of turn them on their 45 degrees to get some shear cars. There is another manufacturer that does that. Um, I can't remember for the life of me what they're called now, uh, but there is another manufacturer that does it, but I haven't seen them at this kind of price range where they have that facility. So, right, let's get over to the lathe. 
let's give it a try out and come back and let you know what I think. One last thing just before we go to the lathe. I should just point out that for those of you that are familiar with watching my videos, you'll notice that for the most part I use traditional wood turning tools. That is not likely to change. The purpose of these, and for any carbide tool, as far as I'm concerned, for my own wood turning, is really around the hybrid blanks, so when you've got resin and wood, but it's also for when you have either stabilised wood, or if I'm turning something with metal in it, or something like that, or even just resin only. That's where I tend to use these. So, when we go over to the lathe, what we're going to do is we're going to take a blank that has got some resin, well it's a resin blank, but it's also got some aluminium in it, so that will really give these the workout. So you just saw me doing some turning with these tools. Um, I didn't use all of them. I've used the round and the rougher, which are the two that I tend to use most when I'm doing my resin work. So what do I think? Well, generally speaking, I'm really pleased with them. Um, they're, they're solid. Uh, I, I love the fact that it's nice and compact. It's gonna be really easy for me to take when I'm doing demos or you know that kind of thing. The only thing that I don't like um, is the, the very bottom of the, of the bar uh, of the tool. It's got an ever so slight roundness to it. So when you've got it resting on, on the tool rest, um, it kind of just feels like it rolls a little bit. It's not a big deal. Um, it is being particularly nitpicky. I, I just, I like it dead flat. That's the only thing that I would say is I would prefer it dead flat. Um, but I love the fact that it's got this sort of 45 degree angle and you can go in at an angle and get a sheer cut. That was really quite handy. Um, it allowed me to take some kind of nice fine cuts without hardly any tear out really. And these are, don't even have like a negative rake on them. So that's really good. Um, as I said, I love the presentation side of it. Um, it's probably the best presented tool set I've seen. Um, I love the handle. This, um, this black wooden handle is a joy to hold and it's just the right size. Um, and I think there's some attention to detail with these little brass bits as well is, yeah, again, it, it's, it's lovely. Um, yeah, it seems really well put together, to be honest. It's, it's a, it is made in Hong Kong, China. Um, so you kind of, we do sometimes have this thing that stuff made in China isn't always the best. Well, you know, this kind of does contradict that. Um, these are lovely tools. Um, they are expensive for the set. But as I said earlier, you know, when you think it's £40 per tool, really is what you're looking at. It's not that different to what you'd pay for a regular tool anyway. Um, in fact, considering that these have got the the sheer uh, scraping ability, they're a lot cheaper than some of the other tools that are out there. So overall, um, really pleased with them. Um, I would recommend them. They are a good good idea, they're a good set. Um, I do like, as I said before, the, uh, the additional angled cutter. That looks like it could be really useful. Um, yeah, I've put a link below, as I said before, and I'll put a link on the bottom of the screen. They are only available through an Etsy shop at the moment, but when the guy said they'd sent them out to me, they did get here pretty quickly. So, yeah, I would say that they're definitely worth a, a consideration. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.